Hey guys, I had another video planned for today, but it wound up not working out, so we're going to be taking a look at something that I had been meaning to make a video about, but haven't yet. We're going to be doing a first impressions of Super Anti-Spyware. Yeah, this one is not quite as old as Spybot Search and Destroy. In fact, it actually directly competed with Malwarebytes Anti-Malware in its heyday, and well... I'm not really sure if there was a winner between those two, but we talk about Malwarebytes all the time, and Super Anti-Spyware, I don't know, I guess it's fallen off in popularity, but it's supposed to be a good program, and is still supposed to be a good program, except I've never used it before. Ever. I've never used it. I can honestly say that. I don't know, I just always seem to prefer Malwarebytes Anti-Malware for some reason, so... We're going to go ahead and take a look at it today. We're going to learn a little bit about it and see how well it works at removing malware. So, super anti-spyware. That was the first thing about it that I noticed. It has this weird name. It's got this kind of weird artwork going on. And it really contrasted with the old malware bytes. had a much simpler look to it back in the day, of course. So, as you can see, we have a professional edition with a free trial. Uh, let's see if there's more info about the software itself. Free versus professional. So, as you can see, you've got the scanning and detecting, repair internet connections, updates, system investigator. <clears throat> Excuse me. So that's what you get in the free version, but then if you go to the professional, you get system change highlighting. That sounds good. Real-time protection, of course, automatic updates, scheduler, uh, startup scan, and, of course, support. So that's nice. And I wonder if their licensing is full-time or like a one-year kind of thing. Purchase. Purchase, come on, let me buy it. Ah, yes, it is a yearly subscription of $30, so par for the course on that. Yeah, it's got a look I don't really care for, but then again, looks aren't everything. So we'll go ahead and just download the free version because that's really all I'm interested in. That is what I downloaded, right? Yeah, okay. So as you remember, I was looking for a program similar to Malwarebytes. It did the same things, but not made by Malwarebytes. So, this is sponsored by support.com now. Interesting. Wonder if they got acquired by them later on or what? Well, so yeah, it's support.com and then, eh, come on, really? Do we really need this adware shit in here? Come on. I don't like that. Then you can register your software if you choose to install. I don't want to submit anything, and yeah, check for updates. Sounds good. Okay, so very similar to Malwarebytes, it asks you if you want to start a trial or not. We're going to go ahead and decline it. And here it is, Super Anti Spyware, and it's pretty sweet. Can expand this thing if you want. Ooh, very simple interface, which I like. It's a lot better than Malwarebytes' interface, or at least the new Malwarebytes. Ooh, okay, that's enough of that. Anyway, let's take a look at some other stuff before the scanner. We got system tools here. Well, let's check our preferences first. There's even a, looks like a high contrast mode. Wow, that looks pretty great. Okay, so we have a system investigator, which looks up our startup info and stuff. Yeah, start, why not? So these are the known good startup items, and we don't have any other bad startup items, so that's a cool feature. Registry load points, that's good. Plugins, installed applications. So, yeah, it's kind of nice to visualize what's good or not. Although, it seems kind of pointless since you'd be scanning and it would detect all this stuff during a scan. So, you know, it's a pretty cool feature that isn't in Malwarebytes. So, that's pretty good. Let's see what else we got. 
uninstaller. Scan the logs. We don't have any logs. Quarantine. Super delete file removal. Uh, we don't have anything in that. Repairs. Fixes the registry. I don't... I'd rather not. Advanced scan settings, as you'd expect. Submit malware samples. So you can drag a file into this and it'll send it to Super Anti Spyware. So we'll send them... We'll send them some malware that we're going to test in a little bit. There you go. Sent, apparently. Okay, yeah, did something. Okay, cool. What else we got? We got help and support. You really can't get very much support in the free version. I mean, you can go to forums, but you're not going to get the phone support and all that stuff without registering, so that makes sense. Worldwide threat map? Oh man, Eastern Seaboard is fucked. I guess that makes sense though. Okay, close. Okay. Real-time protection, we don't have any because we're not registered. Schedule scanning, we're not allowed to do unless we buy super anti-spyware and automatic updates. Not allowed unless you buy it. So, sweet. Good. And you can just click down there to check for updates. It'll do it automatically. And, of course, the scanner. And you have a few options for a scan. You can do your normal complete scan or quick scan. Looks like you also have this critical point scan, so... I guess it's more like... I guess it's sort of like the flash scan from Malwarebytes. It checks memory items, and it doesn't find anything, of course. So that's cool that it's in there for free, unlike Malwarebytes. So... What I'm getting from this program so far is that you get a lot more features for the same free price, right? You know, free, not actually free, but free to use, as in no money. Uh, yeah, it looks nice so far, it's promising, but let's test it against some malware. Now, of course I say that, but, you know, this really isn't a comprehensive test at all. This is just to see how well it works, how it works in removing this stuff, etc. So, we have 185 samples, courtesy of Malware1, so we thank him for that. And we just need to... Conv oh, what the hell? CD desk. CDA. Alright, so now we have executables, sweet. Now, what do we want to run? Uh, try to run a lot of this here. See how much it works, or how well it works in VMware. Probably not too well, but we'll see. And yeah, this is VMware, so it shouldn't lag too much. So we're just infecting this computer pretty good. We're doing something over here. Uh, what the hell? <laughs> what? <laughs> what the hell is it talking about? Oh god, Windows Defender is doing something. Oh, sh that's not good at all. You, We don't want Windows Defender messing around. Jeez. Dude, this thing is getting taxed big time. Oh my god, dude, what are we loading? Okay, what about it? Ask me later, I don't care. What? <laughs> I'll understand. Okay, so... Our computer is very infected. As you can probably tell. Can we run Task Manager at all? Yes, close all tabs, please. We gave this computer plenty to work with here. Two cores, eight gigs of RAM, there should be plenty of power. It's not really porn either, but you know. Anyway, alright, so we loaded a bunch of shit. Uh, is it in our processes? Yeah, look at all that shit running. Nice. Okay, sweet. So we have all this malware running. 
Let's see how well Super Anti Spyware works. And we're going to be using safe mode, of course, because there's really no point in running it in regular mode right now. Uh, reset. Do safe mode with networking. Okay, we are now in safe mode with networking, of course. And how much stuff is running here? Doesn't look like anything's running, which is kind of nice. So we'll go ahead and fire up Super Anti Spyware and see if we can get rid of this or these infections. Okay, that's kind of weird that it didn't open up, but it seems to be working fine. We'll do a scan. And let's just do a critical point scan first and see if it detects anything. Ooh, nice. Blada bindi and some other crap. So in a five second scan, we already found six threats. So that's pretty good. Oh, uh, yeah, continue. Ah, oh, crap. System restart. Reboot later. All right, so that's pretty promising. Let's go ahead and do... Let's just do a complete scan because... That'll really help, I think, the most, instead of just doing a quick scan and finding more crap. Alright, so let's check out our options before we start. Can check for updates automatically. Oh, just kidding, we can't, only in the paid version. Close active browser windows, delete temp files. Enable rescue scan maximum boost. Activate scan boost, hide boost. I, I have no idea what that means, but it sounds really cool, so let's do it anyway. I mean, that sounds pretty sweet, if it can go, like, super fast or something. Okay, so we're going to do a full scan with high boost and maximum boost enabled, so... Hopefully, it can be just a little bit faster than malware bytes, which would be pretty impressive. And, of course, we're running on a solid-state drive, so... It'll be a lot slower if you're running on a mechanical drive. So I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when the scan is complete. Okay, we are back and look at that scan time, 53 seconds. That's speed right there. However, I'm not really sure if it actually, you know, scanned the whole C drive. So we're going to do one more scan with this. I'm going to just do a... Uh, custom scan and see if we can detect everything in that folder. Cancel the scan for now. A custom scan. Add a folder. Local disk C. Let's see if it works. Okay, so our scan completed, and it took a little bit longer this time, but it's still the same 49 threats, which is, uh, I think, a little bit disappointing, because we have, like I said, like 180 files in that one folder. So we'll go ahead and restart the computer and see if the active infections are gone. Hopefully they are, because it would be quite annoying if we run this program and then it didn't remove whatever infection. Now, of course, this isn't a completely comprehensive test of everything that Super Anti-Spyware could, in theory, do. You, it takes, you know, a lot of time to test an antivirus to see how accurate it is. So, the uh, same applies to these kind of programs, these anti-spyware, anti-malware programs. And sometimes they let some things through, like whatever that is, and... Looks like the only thing that's running right now, and that's malware. So that's good. I'm just kidding, that's actually pretty bad. That it left some stuff here in startup. That's definitely not safe. And we have all these files, which Super Anti Spyware just kind of glanced over because they're not malware. Oh, and Firefox is dead? What the hell? Quit Firefox. I want to test one more thing before we wrap up. So we're going to see if Malwarebytes can detect the same files that are there. Doing an update, of course. Do a scan. We'll do a custom scan. Um, okay, what the hell? Never mind. Okay, 
So we'll scan our C. Scan for rootkits. Go. And while that's running, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video and come back when the scan is done. All right, we're back. And as you can see, first off, this scan took significantly longer than the Super Anti-Spyware scan. However, just look at the results. I mean... After I had left, I forgot that I had not reloaded the whole malware pack, but turns out it didn't really matter because, I mean, it just found so much more stuff that Super Anti-Spyware just didn't pick up. And that's really disappointing. I mean, I really wanted Super Anti-Spyware to be a Malwarebytes killer because it has pretty much everything going for it. The free scanner has a lot of extra features, and scans very fast, does everything Malwarebytes does, but that accuracy is just terrible. And I know, once again, I have to re-explain this, but this is not a comprehensive test of any kind. I mean, this is just one 185 sample set that we're testing, but if you get any indication from that, it seems like Super Anti-Spyware misses quite a bit of stuff that the competition does pick up. Now, none of these are 100% accurate. I mean, look at the folder. Still three files in here that were undetected by Malwarebytes. Well, this one doesn't really count because it was downloaded with like one of those downloader things. This is an empty file, and yeah, this is the one program that or the one piece of malware that Malwarebytes missed. But it's still one, so no 100% here. And yeah, once again, Super Anti-Spyware, it looks nice, it scans fast, it does everything you want it to do, but I really can't recommend it for really anybody because it seems like you really have to look for a second opinion, and then when you get that second opinion makes you realize you should have just went with that in the first place. So, yeah, I didn't really... I Like I said, I'd never used Super Anti-Spyware before, and... Yeah, if you look at history, you can see who won. The Malwarebytes Corporation is now this big, faceless entity, and Super Anti-Spyware was bought out by Support.com, so... Thank you all very much for watching, and take care.